part one. Hey, 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 you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on what time you see this, right? I'm about to get ready and do a general reading for the collective. This is a general read, so take what resonates, only what resonates, and leave what is not for someone who it may resonate for. I'm going to get ready and tap in. Ask my higher self, the most high, and the center master to help me in this sort of reading. Just tarot today, you guys. We're going to dive straight in. On the bottom of the deck. We got the Magician card in reverse. Virgo energy, Gemini energy. Somebody's a manipulator. Why are we starting off with this? Somebody's a manipulator. Okay, whoever this is, they've been projecting a lot onto you or somebody has been using manipulation to try to project on someone. Okay, so let's see. Or using some type of manipulation magic. So let's see. General reading for the collective spirit. We have the Nine of Wands here. Sagittarius energy. Someone was determined. They were persistent with trying to manipulate someone, trying to project onto someone. Whoever this is, they're feeling wounded. Okay. We have the judgment card here. Scorpio energy. Whoever this is, they're under judgment. Okay. They're under the judgment by the, the by the divine. Someone could also be awakened into someone being very manipulative and projecting onto them as well. Scorpio energy. We have the page of pentacles here. Whoever this is, this is their plan. Their plan, their idea was to project onto you, to try to manipulate you, to have you feeling wounded. This could be someone who lacks confidence and they wanted you to lack confidence, especially if it comes to some type of business or plan that you had. Okay. This person could have been passing judgment on whatever business you have going on with a justice card here. I do see something being made fair. Someone's being taken to spiritual court, okay, for whatever plan or idea that they had to try to manipulate you, okay? Things are balancing out. Someone also could actually have to go to court. Someone could be wounded about a court situation, okay, with the judgment and the, Libra and the, judgments and the justice card here. That could be a court situation, okay? Someone could have had a plan to take someone to court. Now they're feeling wounded. We have the Will of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Whoever this is, they're experiencing karma. This is someone in spiritual jail. They're experiencing karma. Okay, you could have made some type of change to turn things around in your life. This was fated to happen. For you to change things around in your life, to become more happy, to close out a cycle, you were destined to do so. And someone who wanted to stop you from turning things around for yourself, they're receiving karma. Okay, we have the Fool's card here, Aries energy. This is a new beginning for you. Okay, you took a leap of faith. All right, you're starting a new journey when it comes to um, this change that you've made. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands here. You could be receiving a down. You could be receiving downloads from the divine about this new um, this new journey. This could be a new spiritual journey for you, or just a new start. Okay, you could be getting guided, receiving downloads from the divine about what direction to go in. Okay, especially when it comes to your work. With the Three of Pentacles here, who to work with, who to collab with. Okay, someone may want to communicate to you about working and collabing with you. This could be someone who watches your work. Okay, this could be someone who likes your ideas. We have the Tower card, Scorpio and Aries energy, Capricorn energy here. Okay, there may be some type of unexpected change that's going to come in for you fast when it comes to your work someone may want to communicate to you about the work that you do okay we have the devil card here capricorn energy there's also a karmic who's having a tower moment when it comes to your work when it comes to you accomplishing something this is someone who feels bothered by your accomplishments whoever this karmic energy is they're the ones in spiritual court or going to spiritual jail Okay, this is someone bound to toxicity. This could be somebody's obsessive, somebody who's obsessive, possessive, controlling. Okay, whoever this is, they're feeling powerless. They're stressed the fuck out too. Okay, got a lot of anguish, mental anguish, anxiety, feeling hopeless and worried. Somebody's scared of the fate that they, they're coming toward, that's coming to them. Someone's scared of what's fated to happen to them. This is a karmic. Okay, okay. You're starting a new beginning. This karmic is starting a new beginning, but it's like the new beginning they're starting. It has them in their head, okay? Possibly about an empress, Taurus energy. Someone also could have had a tower moment that they're stressing about. They could have got a karmic pregnant, okay? This karmic could be taking them to court, okay? But you, Divine Feminine, you're birthing something new, something to do with your work. You're going to hear positive communication when it comes to your work. Okay. 
And there's someone who's having a tower moment with a karmic, possibly a karmic taking them to court. For some, it's got something to do with a child. Okay. We have the lover's card here, Gemini energy. Someone could be worried about someone communicating to you. Okay, they could be worried about whatever this tower moment is, it being communicated to you. Okay, this is a lover of yours or someone who has love for you. Okay, we have the page of wands here. Someone took an immature action towards a karmic and it's stressing them out now. This was fated to happen though. Okay, because whoever this is, they're tied to low vibrational energy. So they got themselves into a karmic situation that they're now stressing about. Okay, we have the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, this could have been someone who tried to do sex magic on a karmic. Now they're stressed because they have this karmic pregnant. This karmic can be projected onto them. They could be feeling wounded. This karma could be feeling wounded. Or it's someone who lacks confidence. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this masculine is, they're getting breadcrumbs. Okay. This is someone who took pride in riches. They could be in debt. Okay. This is someone very selfish. They were being unjust to someone, and now justice is being served. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone's freeing themselves from someone who was breadcrumbing them. So if this was someone you were dealing with, Empress Energy, and they breadcrumbed you, they're dealing with someone who's breadcrumbing them. They could have a breadcrumbing baby mother, okay, or mother figure that's in their energy. But someone's seeing the truth, okay? Someone's realizing that someone is untrustworthy, okay? Someone may want to confess something to you, communicate to you about something, we have the Ten of Cups here, Pisces energy when it comes to a family's dynamic. Okay, somebody feels like when they're with you, they feel like they belong. They're happy with you. You feel like home to this person. And they weren't trusting themselves about somebody who was breadcrumbing them. Okay, this could be a lover of theirs. It could be a baby's mother, mother figure. Somebody who they got pregnant. I don't know, take it how it resonates. We got the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy in reverse. Okay, something is someone is accepting things for what it is. Okay, I feel like whoever this empress is, she has hope. She done forgave the situation. So if it was somebody breadcrumbing them, being sneaky, deceptive, lying, cheating, they forgave it. They moved on past it. This is someone who's going towards happiness. They're moving forward fast. They've been working, collabing when it comes to some type of business plan or ideas. Okay, and this is definitely causing a tower for somebody. Somebody who's very materialistic. Someone who breadcrumbs you. Because now they're getting breadcrumb from somebody who they who they know they can trust. Maybe at one point, like I said, this person breadcrumbed you and you couldn't trust them. But now the, the will of fate has turned around. This person is receiving their karma. What else, spirit? We have the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a baby's father, a father figure. Okay, someone's accepting things for what it is. And they're heartbroken with three of swords. This is someone who's experiencing some pain, some suffering. It could be suffering in silence. Okay. They're also in pain about a separation. This was someone who was feeling heartbroken, but they were really heartless towards you. That's what I heard. This was someone who was heartless towards you with the two of cups here. This could have been your soulmate. Whoever this masculine is, they breadcrumbed a soulmate. They created heartbreak hurt, betrayed this person. Now they're stressing because they're dealing with a karmic that's breadcrumbing them. I mean, what goes around comes around, right? Right? That's what, that's what it's looking like. What goes around comes around. Somebody's feeling wounded. They try to manipulate and project onto you because they lack confidence. Now they're dealing with somebody who's trying to manipulate and use them or project onto them. Okay, it, it sounds like a what goes around comes around situation. Okay, somebody's receiving their karma for betraying a soulmate, for causing heartbreak to a soulmate, for choosing a karmic, for choosing a karmic over a soulmate. And they could even have this karmic pregnant for some. Okay, go to part two.